Hi Aquarius, it's Nick. This is your July 2020 love reading. I hope you guys are doing good. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, but you can also check out your other signs as well. Keep in mind these are general, like I always say, so it may not always resonate with everybody, but you could always come back later on and maybe it'll make better sense then. All right, and I will have the link to the extended reading below in the description box. And before we get started, I want to thank Keen for sponsoring this video. Keen offers personalized readings for those who have questions or seeking some clarity in certain areas of your life, such as love and relationships, which is what we focus on in this channel, or work, career, finances, dream interpretations, or just in general, I need some life or spiritual guidance like a lot of us may have needed this year. Um, Keen is an affordable way to meet new readers and when you sign up, it's a very easy, simple process. You just fill out a brief questionnaire and it then pairs you with a list, long list of recommended psychics based on your specific needs. So there's one person for everyone. Um, and I had a reading with a gentleman that goes by Walks With Thunder. I believe his name is Andy. We have previously spoken a few months back. Um, you know, once you find a reader that you like, you have an opportunity, you can establish a connection with them and it's nice because you can go back to them and talk with them again and chat. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, and so we talked about some things in my life and a specific situation and some family things and he gave me a look into what I could expect and what could be happening by the end of this year and also a lot of just reassurance about things that have been kind of heavy in my mind which I'm sure has been happening to a lot of us right just in general um, and also like certain people in my life and their roles and maybe how things have been changing and just a lot of you know stuff like that in general and um he he a lot of things like i already knew um going into it and it's just nice though to get confirmation nonetheless especially from someone who you know knows nothing about you has no ties to you so you know that their opinion is not really biased and i felt like he gave it to me just like raw and direct and he was very friendly but also to the point and just said everything so I felt very comfortable talking to him and it was really nice so yeah and they have a whole variety of different types of readers mediums psychics um, you'll see different ratings and reviews about them so you can really choose the one you fit you feel is most fit for you and it's awesome because the readers are available 24 7 so there's always someone online it's really easy to schedule a reading and the sign up process is also really simple you can sign in once you have your sign up or register all you need is an email you create a password and you're ready to go and if you're new to keying your first five minutes with any reader is five dollars with my link below and once you're a user, Keen will send you unique discounts each week. This makes getting regular readings super affordable. So it's a really awesome way to get any questions that you have answered in a matter of seconds. So. so be sure to check them out and use my link below to get your first five minutes for only $5. Try Keen.com slash Nick Loves. And thank you once again to Keen for sponsoring this video. And every Wednesday, you guys get a new love reading, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with a positive affirmation for you guys to practice for the whole month, and then a love message and an overall motion for you, overall motion for the other person or future person you may be dealing with, okay? So let's get started. All right, for all my Aquarians, please send them healing, love, happiness, abundance. What positive affirmation do they need the most or should be practicing? For July of 2020 for Aquarius Aquarius please okay Aquarius so what you guys need to practice and say this month is I am calm I am calm I am calm especially when you don't feel calm and you feel stressed or you feel anxious or angry or any kind of emotion that you don't want to feel practice saying this I am calm if you can in the morning as you wake up and a night before you go to bed Say it three times out loud, okay? I am calm, I am calm, I am calm. Cool. All right, let's get your love message. Love message for Aquarius, please, for July 2020. Okay, so you guys got card number 17, or you can add one plus eight in case that means something to you, and it says ego. Is your ego getting a little too big, possibly? Or is it too small? But I feel like in this case, it's almost like your ego is getting a little big. 
So maybe this month, maybe a good time for you to kind of wash yourself or catch yourself if you're being a little bit too egotistical or maybe not um, hearing other people or acknowledging their opinions as much. And I know you guys are smarty pants. I know you guys know everything for the most part, but just careful with your ego, not let it get too inflamed, too, too high up there, okay? All right. Or you could be dealing with someone who has a big ego as well, vice versa, okay? All right, let's see. What is your overall emotion? Overall emotion for Aquarius. All right, other person. Okay, so Aquarius, it looks like you're worried this month, concerned about something. Maybe you are sick or someone that you know is sick or you're worried about them or you're just kind of stressed about something, concerned, like genuinely concerned. And then with this person, they're feeling kind of hopeless. Like maybe like there's no resolution. I can't get out of this storm that I'm in. Feeling very emotional, very overwhelmed. Um, so we'll see what's going on and maybe that's why you're worried about them because you're dealing with a lot and you're afraid that they won't be okay. So let's see. What's going on with all my Aquarians, please? Give us clarity inside a clear message. What's happening here with Aquarius? Why are they worried? What's going on? There's, um... A house nearby that they're like reconstructing or you know demolishing and building up and so there's a lot of noise and Nala your fellow Aquarian has been like all oh, like scared and freaked out she's like right below my feet here I don't know what she's doing <laughs> Nala go sit down go sit down the bed so they can see you or anything weird okay what about this person why are they feeling hopeless what's going on here She's all like curled up next to me. I don't know what's wrong with her. All right. So on your end here, we have the hanged woman, the hierophant, and the ace of cups. Okay. And then on this side for this person, we have the nine of swords, the ten of wands. Oops and judgment. Okay, so you could be dealing with a another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or really almost could be any other sign. But of course, yeah, it could be almost anyone. Don't get too fixed on that, just the energies, okay? And I see some of you could have Pisces or Taurus, maybe somewhere in your chart. So, um, I think definitely your person or this person you may be dealing with is kind of going through something, uh, maybe some heavy energies, and you're definitely genuinely concerned about them because you care about them. And you're kind of in your feelings a little bit. You've been kind of just like doing your own thing. Um, I kind of feel like you, you're in no rush for anything. You're not in a rush and you are just enjoying the view. You're enjoying your time. You're enjoying the feeling that you're feeling are you enjoying the the patience that it that had that it's been that you've needed to really the patience that you've needed to really appreciate when someone great comes into your life and so you kind of just been hanging out doing your own thing and trying to find whatever makes you happy and just minding your business. I feel like you've just been minding your business and not hurting, not, not overdoing anything. Kind of just hanging in there, doing your thing. And a lot of you are kind of very set in your ways, like very strict. Like maybe you have a strict schedule or you have certain habits that you never break. Maybe you always wake up at a certain time or you always take this certain road or you make your coffee this particular way. Um, you always go for a walk at 6 30 p.m. I don't know like I feel like some of you have some kind of set schedule or routine that you never break and I feel like there soon I feel like you're going to be making some changes in the way that you think and feel about things as, in regards to like your traditions 
your morals, your values, not saying that any of it needs tweaking or needs to be better, but I feel like maybe you're kind of thinking differently about things now. And I also feel like you guys are very, well, most of you, like you're that friend or that person that people go to for advice. Like people really respect you. They respect your opinion. They really feel like you're knowledgeable. Like you know a lot, like you're smart or like you give good advice um, or you know a lot about everything or you know a little bit about everything possibly. And I feel like some of you, some of you could be married. If not, some of you are looking for a partner that is on the same page as you, like maybe wants a long-term relationship or wants the type of relationship you want. Like maybe you want an open relationship, maybe you want marriage, maybe you want just a partner to live with. I don't know, whatever it is that you're looking for, you're wanting to find someone who's kind of like your match, you're equal and you're not gonna, you don't want anything less, maybe more, but nothing less than that. And so I feel like you kind of just set your intention out there to find that and not settle for anything, anything that doesn't fit that. And it looks like you're receiving that. You're getting new love. So if you've been searching or you've been single for a while, I feel like you're gonna meet someone new if you haven't met someone already. And I feel like either you are gonna be offering love to them or they are offering love to you. But I feel like you're from the moment you meet them, you're gonna really like them. You're just gonna feel this like soul connection. You're just gonna feel like, oh, this is right. It just feels right. I don't know how to explain it. It just, I know this is the right thing for me. And I'm glad that I waited. And I'm glad that I was patient. So a lot of you are going to be meeting someone new or be diving into a new connection, a new relationship. And this one is going to pour out so much love and be have good intentions, be pure, be loving, be everything you could ever wanted and more. So really exciting for you. And I think you're at a good space. You're in a good, you're in a good just in a good space for love because I think you waited for some time and you, you've you worked on yourself. And this person maybe has been going through some things and maybe at the moment they meet you or maybe in their history right now, they have been dealing with some blockages, um, maybe, you know, depression, sadness, anxiety, stress, or just stuff that has really made them feel very weak and not good about themselves and mentally not strong and you're and here you are this person the savior that you have what you have everything it takes to help this person heal like you know what's wrong with them you understand them or even if you don't know everything you you know how to help them and you see them you're just like so worried so concerned like i can help you i can be there for you and you see them struggling so much how hard maybe they work, how many burdens they have, how many responsibilities and how life has been such a uphill battle for them. You see that, you, it makes you respect them a lot, but it also makes you sympathize with them and want to help them because you, you've you grown to really care about this person or you feel like you're meant, you were put in this person's life in their, in their, on their, on their road to help them maybe because they've been struggling a lot on their own. And it's been mentally draining and also physically draining for them. Um, and it's almost like at a, you came at a time in their life when maybe they were so helpless or so hopeless. I've lost hope in love and life and humanity possibly and just were such a low point. Like you met them at their lowest maybe when they're just like, I give up. And here you come, kind of like the knight in shining armor, and you help them see the light. You help them see the truth. I feel like you are the truth. You are the light for them, and you help them. You help lift them up, and it's like, this is you. You're like this trumpet or this light speaking loud and clearly to this person that helps rise them up from whatever it is that they were dealing with, and now they can see and think clearly. So, um... I feel like you are concerned, but you're gonna help this person. But just in the means, in the process, just don't let your ego get a little bit too big because I feel like they're gonna really appreciate you and kind of like praise you in a way. Like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like, 
you have no idea how much you've helped me or you made me realize things and you know I feel like they're gonna really like acknowledge you and like praise you so just don't let it get too much to your head okay okay um not saying that you do but I I just really feel like they are going through something and you're gonna be that person that helps them I don't think you're like it's not like you fix all their problems but you help them help themselves and that's like the best kind of help you can give you know like maybe I I had an Aquarian give me a book a really mindful book and I really appreciate that I feel like that was such a I don't know just really a nice gift and so like you could do something as simple as that or just as simple as talking to them being like almost like this therapeutic therapy for them so we're gonna dive in deeper in the extended to get more information to see where their energy's at what are they thinking feeling when it comes to you what they want you to know and what their next action move will be towards you and then also your advice at the end okay so i would love for you guys to join me on there the link will be below and i uh, hope to see you there if not hopefully i'll see you next week next week wednesday all right so we'll dive in deeper and see what's going on here all right i'll talk to you guys soon i'm sending you lots of love bye